Joseph Joey Doves, a Yupa, a notorious figure in the annals of American organized crime, was a pivotal member of the Chicago Outfit, a criminal syndicate involved in a range of illegal activities including gambling, loan shocking, and racketeering. His moniker, Joey Doves, was coined following his 1966 arrest for possessing stolen pigeons. Despite its somewhat comical origin, the nickname did little to detract from the severity of Ayupa's criminal endeavors. Born in 1907 in Melrose Park, Illinois, Ayupa grew up in a working-class family. His upbringing, characteristic of the Italian immigrant experience during that period, was marked by hardship and poverty. It wasn't long before Ayupa found himself entangled in the world of crime, seeing it as a means to escape his socio-economic constraints. His criminal inclinations eventually led him to associate with the Chicago Outfit, a criminal organization that would go on to define his life and legacy. As a member of the Outfit, Ayupa was involved in numerous illegal activities that not only served to bolster the organization's power and influence, but also facilitated his rise through the criminal hierarchy. Joseph Ayupa's ascendancy through the ranks of the Chicago Outfit was marked by strategic alliances and a series of calculated moves that positioned him as a key player within the organization. His keen understanding of the inner workings of the criminal underworld, combined with a ruthless determination to succeed, facilitated his rise in the criminal hierarchy. A significant aspect of Ayupa's ascent was his involvement in several high-profile criminal activities. Notable among these was his participation in the illegal gambling operations that were a significant source of revenue for the outfit. Ayupa's role in these activities demonstrated not only his willingness to engage in criminal endeavors, but also his ability to manage complex operations that required a level of sophistication and organization. Moreover, Ayupa's relationship with other prominent mob figures played a crucial role in his rise to power. He forged alliances with key players such as Tony Accardo and Paul Ricker, both of whom were instrumental in shaping the Chicago Outfit's history. These relationships provided Ayupa with the support and backing necessary to navigate the perilous world of organized crime successfully. Ayupa's connections with these influential figures were a testament to his strategic acumen and his ability to align himself with the right people to further his criminal career. During Joseph Ayupa's tenure as a key figure in the Chicago outfit, the organization was one of the most powerful and feared criminal syndicates in the United States. The outfit engaged in a wide array of illegal activities, from gambling and loan shocking to labor racketeering and extortion. Under Ayupa's leadership, the Chicago Outfit expanded its influence, solidifying its control over various criminal enterprises. The organization was heavily involved in illegal gambling operations, which served as a significant source of revenue. In addition to traditional forms of gambling, the Outfit also capitalized on the sports betting market, generating substantial profits. Loan shocking was another lucrative activity, with the outfit lending money at exorbitant interest rates and using intimidation and violence to ensure repayment. Ayupa's management style was characterized by a combination of shrewd strategy and ruthless determination. He maintained strict control over the organization, ensuring that its members adhered to a code of conduct that valued loyalty and obedience above all else. Ayupa was known for his ability to make tough decisions, and he was not averse to using violence when he deemed it necessary. His influence over the organization was significant, and his leadership style helped to shape the Chicago outfit into a well-oiled criminal machine that was capable of generating substantial profits while simultaneously maintaining a fearsome reputation. Joseph Ayupa's criminal activities eventually caught up with him, leading to significant legal troubles and charges. In the 1980s, Ayupa was indicted on several counts, including racketeering, illegal gambling operations, and conspiracy to commit murder. The trial was a monumental event, with prosecutors presenting a strong case against Ayupa, supported by substantial evidence that included witness testimonies, surveillance tapes, and financial records. The evidence painted a clear picture of Ayupa's deep involvement in the criminal underworld and his role in the orchestrating various illegal activities. 
In 1986, Ayupa was found guilty and sentenced to 28 years in prison. The conviction marked the end of an era and was seen as a significant victory for law enforcement in their ongoing battle against organized crime. Ayupa's imprisonment dealt a significant blow to the Chicago outfit, depriving the organization of one of its most powerful and influential figures. Joseph Ayupa's time in prison was marked by declining health. As he aged, he faced various health issues that are common among the elderly, with the added challenge of being in a prison environment. In 1996, after serving 10 years of his sentence, Ayupa was released from prison on grounds of ill health. His final years were spent away from the criminal activities that had defined much of his life. He passed away in 1997, at the age of 89. The legacy of Joseph Ayupa and his impact on organized crime are significant. During his time as a leader of the Chicago outfit, Ayupa helped to solidify the organization's power and influence, contributing to its reputation as one of the most formidable criminal syndicates in American history. His leadership style and criminal acumen left an indelible mark on the outfit, shaping its operations and structure. While Ayupa's conviction and imprisonment dealt a blow to the organization, his influence can still be felt in the way the Chicago Wildfit operated in the years following his departure. If you found this video intriguing, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below with your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe for more captivating stories from the annals of crime history. Thanks for watching.